my friend welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome I am Trey in today's video I am gonna try something new I'm gonna take you through the whole house every day we're gonna do a small section so today we are gonna tidy up in this family um, this is like our sitting area off our room we're gonna tidy that up and we're gonna get all the beds made because Cleaning does not have to be an overwhelming thing. If you put a timer on, if you give yourself grace in that moment, it will not take you a long time. But what I have learned for me is setting a timer helps so much. Also, starting small. I don't look at, oh, I need to clean the entire house. What can I tackle today? I know I do not have a full day to clean up everything. So today I am tackling our sitting family room and I'm getting all the beds made in preparation for our spring break. And then tomorrow I'm gonna do something else and I'm gonna share that. So if that is something that interests you, make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the bell because tomorrow I'll be sharing something else. So let's get started and I'm gonna take you through with me. If you have any questions or interest in anything, make sure to comment below. I love chatting with you. Let's get started. <laughs> I'm starting in the bedrooms first because I'm a person, I have to see like a clean space in order for me to clean. So getting the beds made, then I can see, okay, what do I need to dust? What do I need to take off? What do I need to declutter? So I have to get the beds made first in order to see the space that I'm working in. Same way when I'm like in my kitchen, I have to declutter first, like clear the counter so I know what I'm working with. What do I need to, what is extra in this space that does not need to be here? So I'm getting the boys bed made making the bump beds is pretty tricky but I've just like just go back and forth and it gets easier I had to show you his Easter bunny that was so cute he's had it for a few years um but his bed nice and tight and it's done taking camera sheets off um just because we had an accident the other day and then we washed it but that's not the sheets that typically stay on there and so it's been a week so we're just getting these washed off and switched out um again making the bed is not an easy task but just getting it done makes me feel so much better because it's a small thing but i check it off my list and it feels really big to me is anybody else like that like you have a checklist that you know i can do that easily but when you check it off it's like it's like a breath of fresh air it's like a low lifted off your shoulders because you did the one thing and I think it works really good for my mind seeing things done and completed and I'm like yes okay I can take on anything today I got these two beds made <laughs> My toddler is so hilarious because I like adding pillows and teddy bears and all the things on the bed. He's always like, mommy, I don't like things on my bed. It makes my bed heavy. That's what he tells me. So I take everything off and just get the bed made. I am going to stare at the two pillows. I am really looking at designing their bedroom. They want a um like superhero theme, kind of with all their favorite Marvel characters. So I'm trying to come up with the color plan because everybody wants a new room my daughter them me just trying to come up with what can go first figure out our budget and all the things so let me know in the comments what do you think do your kids have superhero themes if that's something that they're going to enjoy and be able to grow up with let me know in the comments okay so the bed is made nice and tight how i like it but since we are also spring cleaning, we're gonna look up under here <laughs> and find slippers that we've been looking for, artwork that's all the way in the back. We're gonna get this clean under here as well, get it vacuumed and also get this bed dusted. And it's not horrible, but just get it dusted, get things where they need to go, get everything from under this bed because it doesn't go there. <laughs> like, why are there books? And here's the number that we were looking for for show and tell one day. And it's up here under the bed. There's socks. I just feel like socks just walk away in our house. So it's so funny. They walk under the bed. Maybe they go hide. But I know there's socks back there. 
there are chore charts back there yeah so we're about to tackle this i'm gonna be under here for just a little bit y'all know how i feel about being under this bunk bed <laughs> I get real scared, but I'm gonna do it quick. And we're gonna continue in this room and then we're gonna work our way to the sitting room in my bedroom. So you can see where it's like dusty right here. So I'm gonna get this dusted. And here's everything that was under the bed. Why? <laughs> Why are there band-aids? I told y'all, my kids use band-aids like stickers. So band-aids under here, gems or rocks from their little rock collection. These are actually really cute. Um, but socks and slippers and their devotion that we read every night all under the bed. So I'm gonna get this stuff put away and also get the dust stuff so I can dust off the bed and also dust off the dresser. You can see it's like a little dusty on here as well. So we're almost finished in this room. After we dust, get the floor clear um i'm gonna dust the blinds tomorrow because i have something coming that i cannot wait to share with you so again we're going through something every single day and i'm really excited this is the new thing we're gonna try because cleaning does not have to be overwhelming and i want to encourage you and motivate you in that Oh, my baby boy is playing flag football this year and I'm super excited. He got his new jersey. We are all ready. So I'm just going to fold that and put it in the drawer. The flags come with it also, but I have a space in the garage for that. There's these rocks, y'all. There are always rocks everywhere in my house. But I have to get the drawers um, closed. So I'm going to show you how I keep this drawer organized. These, the drawers do not need spring cleaning because if you watch a video a few weeks back, I did a closet clean out in the boys room and that has been so helpful in keeping all the things organized and maintaining that is easy. It's just the whole decluttering thing and throwing things away and that is the hard part. But we have been able to maintain it and it's been great and it's been making our mornings easier, our evenings easier when we're picking out clothes for the week. So, yep, I'm going to finish this and then we're gonna be finishing this room and like I said we're gonna go to the sitting area in my bedroom get that done get two more beds made and that's all we're doing today tomorrow we're gonna do some more dusting and some more spring cleaning so I really hope you're enjoying this and feeling motivated and encouraged what are you listening to what are you watching while you're cleaning Look at all this dust. I am so embarrassed, but I hope this is encouraging and motivating. Look at this. Look at my finger. <laughs> that is so much. So I'm gonna dust here, and then I am going to get our spray away and get this mirror wiped down. I also, you see these around my house, but I keep um, Bible verses just on these sticky notes. Um, and this is in the boys room, but yeah, this window, you see all this, not window, it's a mirror. <laughs> this needs to be cleaned, but yeah, let's get this dusted. Then we're going to get some spray away and get this mirror cleaned.
So I am on a mission to be more minimalistic in things on the drawer, things just out, because you know, the drawer space easily becomes a place where everything just piles up. And I don't want that. So here are the things that I took off the bed. Well, of course not these, because this is these are like cleaning products. But like the piggy bank, I think that that can go in the closet. This letter M, we're not using. This is just from, it was from he was a baby. His trophies, I want to keep his trophies out. But you know what I think I need? Those little, little shelves that go on the wall. The rocks, the rocks are going to have to go to the playroom because they're just taking up space. Um, but that's all. Oh, and a little clock that does not have the right time on it. <laughs> their clock. And of course, we have the skylight thing on there and their ring camera and the echo. But I do need to get, I don't want as much stuff on the dresser. So what would you keep off the dresser? Would you keep the, I love having the trophies on there because it's just an everyday affirmation of how great they are. But I don't want to see them. Up there. I don't know. What would you keep on and what would you take off? Definitely have to keep the clock. Definitely the light, the echo, and the ring. That's four things. What can I take off? What can I keep? What are you taking off? What are you keeping? Here I'm showing you the kids chore chart and like their daily checklist. If that's something that you're interested in, let me know in the comments and I can make it and put it in my description box to share with everyone. But I actually love it. I put it in these little sleeves and the kids can marker up what they're doing every day. And it's so helpful and they feel so good about checking off things just like their mommy. Um, Y'all. This was so dusty. It's something that you don't even think about. But this is like the headboard of the bunk bed. So dusty. So satisfying to get it done and get it wiped off and get it clean. I was like, I, I really enjoy spring cleaning. It's just like getting rid of all the old and welcoming the new and just shiny. And I love how this orange glow smells. I finished dusting and I was just like, this room smells amazing. Absolutely amazing. I will admit I am a newbie to baking soda on the carpet, but I use it in the guest bedroom and it left the guest bedroom smelling so good. So I was like, let me try it. And it actually like takes out all the odors, just like the kids, you know, smelly shoes where they have like Cameron did pee on his pee in the bed. So it was just like just taking all those smells. Y'all know how I am. Once I see the sunshine lines, I call them sunshine lines. It makes me so happy. My regular vacuum is broken but this is my shark and I usually vacuum downstairs with this one but it had to come upstairs and it got the job done okay boys rooms is done dusted it smells so good floor is vacuumed dresser dusted the clock is the right time now <laughs> mirror clean their closet is still like i said decluttered and organized in there we got shoes there so it is still looking good we are about to do the sitting area in my bedroom we're gonna get two beds made and that is all we're doing today it is a family day and this took us about 30 minutes um now we're gonna go get the beds made that's gonna take about five minutes and get that sitting area you're done i do have a pile of paper that i'm not tackling today paper i have said this in many many videos paper is the hardest part of decluttering for me because i feel like i need it though 
no, we are getting rid of that. But that's going to also be another day because every day I'm coming to you with super encouraging, super motivating, cleaning hacks, cleaning tips, and just cleaning motivation. So we're about to go get my daughter's bed made and my bed made. And we're going to do a little bit in the tidy up a little bit in the sitting area off our bedroom, just where blankets are and clothes that I folded need to be put away. So let's get started on that. And then we are about to go enjoy the rest of our family day. I hope you're enjoying this. <laughs> So this, I just wanted to get the bed made. There are a few things on the dresser. There are a few things over here that I'm about to clean that bathroom, but we're not doing it today because all we're doing today is the beds getting made, dusting off my sons, and then now we're about to get into the sitting area in the room. That's our last thing. So we can go enjoy our family day. I hope you're enjoying this. Let's keep going. Here's this paper stack that I'm talking about. Y'all, it overwhelms me because I don't know what to keep, what to throw away. So we are not, this is not our area today. This is our area today. Not bad. Like I said, just a few things that were folded and need to be put away. I'm about to get this. There are socks there. I'm gonna just get this space tidy. We are not doing the desk area today. That is another project for another day because this is gonna probably take me 15 minutes. Then we can go enjoy our family day. And that is the goal for today. And just again, I'm gonna keep saying it. Cleaning does not have to be an all day thing. Family time is way more important. And I know for me, I have to get certain spaces done in order to feel peace. Cause I do wanna feel peace and happiness in my home. So we are tackling a few things, checking that off my list and giving myself grace. And tomorrow we're gonna do the rest and we'll do more. We're not doing everything tomorrow either. Taking it day by day with you. So I'm really excited about this. So let's get this space clean, this, this couch cleared off. So even tonight, if we wanna have a family movie night, we have space and yep, let's go. I have our calendar over here because I'm preparing for our April calendar. So I'm gonna clear that off tonight and then we'll have our family meeting, talk about the things we're eating, couple goals we're setting. Um, we are gonna work on intermittent fasting this month. So I'm really excited about that. If you wanna follow me along on that journey, let me know. I'm very new to it. So I'm just, you know, in YouTube school. <laughs> so I'm gonna start over here. Let's go. Getting this tidy did not take long at all. It's just a matter of picking stuff up. I've been doing a few Amazon lives, so I'll have things like right there where I'm doing my lives at. But this did not take long. It's just getting it done, putting your mind to it, not getting distracted. I really hope this video was so motivating, so encouraging. Make sure you subscribe so you can check out the video that I will be sharing tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. And that's all we were doing in this space. I still have our calendar over here because we're gonna work on that today, but we're just getting this sitting area done. We are gonna take this Chobani thing to the basement. Um, that way it's there for my husband and his workspace. But yeah, that took 10, 15 minutes. 
We are not tackling everything because a little bit goes a long way. And this is one less thing we have to worry about tomorrow. And like I said, tomorrow I'm getting the blinds dusted and getting the ceiling fan dusted. So we have a lot left to do, but this small step gets us a big step in our spring cleaning journey. And so that is all we have for today. Thank you so much for being here with me. Like I said, I will be back tomorrow with another video. So make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified when it happens. Thank you so much. I really enjoy cleaning with you, taking you through this day with me. It is it's super encouraging and motivating to me too. If you like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, all the things. And tell a friend to tell a friend. <laughs> you got this, mama. Have a good day.